And I always feel bad because, like, I'll go out and do some blowing jobs. <laughs> that sounded a little weird. <laughs> Snow blowing job. It's black hoodie. I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. We hit it not too long ago, I know, but they came out with that extra crispy recipe and I could not deny the KFC crave today. So we have a four piece extra crispy box. We got a coleslaw, not my favorite. We all know that the Popeye's coleslaw is much far superior to uh, KFC, but still eat it, still appreciate. I don't really even know what else they have. They have corn and stuff. I don't even, I think, do they have mashed potatoes? I'm not sure, anyways. We had a gravy for dunking some chicken in, and I had to upgrade to the poutine, and I got a fresh Pepsi over here. Let's have a little sip of that just to wet the beak real quick. Hammer that off to the side. I have a bunch of barbecue sauces on deck as well. And then I also was feeling frisky and might drizzle a little bit of franks on this today something that i generally don't really do with my kfc but let's knock down this eiffel tower of chicken pieces and get things a set and a ready if i could get this lid off that'd be fantastic and yeah this like what, what is that that's the most plain coleslaw i've ever seen it's literally just cabbage and dressing so that's strange Let's try that just to see. I feel like it's missing. Missing stuff. But mm, it's all right. Tastes pretty good. A little, little palate refresher, but on a pretty warm winter's day, actually, except for we got a foot of damp, wet snow yesterday. So tending to all that today just came in from all that but before that two days ago we had another dump we're on like our fourth winter here it's just it's virtual well not virtual insanity but i don't know it's insanity what it is what it is but let's go catch up a poutine and get a nice steamy poutine bite and just chat to you about some things there you go poutine bite a little closey close. This is a really plentiful, nicely made one too. Very uh, substantial amount of everything going on. So shout out whoever was working. Whoa. Wow. Oh. That's hitting something something fierce today wow holy the gravy is perfect today whoever's responsible for whipping up that batch you get a golden star today Absolutely, wow. So good. Unreal. But yeah, we're on our fourth winter. It's insane. <laughs> it's gradually getting warmer but we keep getting dumps of like this, that March Madness type snow, that like thick, wet, it's heart attack shit. Like it's heart attack snow. And I always feel bad cause like, I'll go out and do some blowing jobs. <laughs> that sounded a little weird. <laughs> snow blowing job. after a dump and then it's like, okay, most people are hoping and praying that they're in the clear for at least, you know, a good little chunk of time, maybe for the rest of the season.
But then two days pass and you just get smacked again. And it's like these people, you know, they're older people and stuff. They, they don't have the means to do it themselves. Or the equipment or whatever. And it's just like, they gotta just pay again and it's just, it's, it's rough. It just feels kind of rough, but hey. That's the name of the game. Living in a winter climate, you know? So I guess you gotta pay to play where you live. So, okay, look at this gargantuan piece right here very nice piece to get super crisp and just pulling off nice chunks like that is the dream I'm so happy that KFC finally brought extra crispy recipe to Canada I, I asked the dude, dude too I'm like what's uh what the, what's the difference in the dredge And he didn't seem to know what the word dredge meant, which uh, was very confusing to me because if you work in a fried chicken place, you should probably know what dredge is. But he said it's just, it's just double coated. So it's breaded twice over instead of just the one. So it gets just that extra. But I feel like I don't believe that. I feel like it has to have a different... Makeup in its components. I swear it has to. In the dredge. You know? Maybe not though, I don't know. I would be intrigued to know exactly how KFC prepares and fries their chicken. Because, let's be honest, it's pretty exceptional. It's my aunt's favorite food. <laughs> Which reminds me that my aunt is a salt fiend, sodium fiend. She carries salt in her purse, like everywhere she goes. And she adds obnoxious amounts to it to her KFC, <laughs> which is already so salty. And hear this, she went in to get her levels looked at one time and they said she had low sodium <laughs> when she smashes it on everything. So that's very, very interesting, you know? The thing I love about KFC the most, I think, is that you can eat it down to like, somehow these like, the bones get like soft. 
Not that I eat the bones, but. I feel like you can just nibble KFC down to almost. Nothingness, like. And those are the best parts. Those little crispy, deep nibbles are for some reason just so satisfying. Everything's hitting today. The fountain soda is so crispy, perfectly syruped out, like the ratios. They're hitting it out of the park today. Everything about this is so good. Except for my greasy lips. I will say though, my eyes were much bigger than my stomach. Somehow already getting full. That piece of chicken was huge though. On a side note, tell me why I watched Shawshank Redemption two days in a row, back to back. What kind of weird behavior is that? I don't know. Easily one of my all-time favorite movies, though. And I feel like that could be said for many people. It's just such a timeless classic. The reason I did watch it uh, two days in a row was that the first time I was a little distracted. It's kind of doing stuff, and I didn't really get to, like, deeply enjoy it. So the second time I like paid attention as much as we can pay attention in this crackhead generation because how many of us can actually sit and watch a movie without checking our phone or like being just like scrolling but also watching the movie you know <laughs> we're just absolute nuts at this point when it comes to that I feel like it's kind of ruined my mind over time having so much To be able to entertain and distract you these days, that sitting with silence is like, a very difficult practice. And so when I was watching the movie, when they chucked these guys in solitary, in just a black room for weeks or a week at a time, like two weeks at a time, You would literally, like, I would lose my mind. Anybody who could survive solitary and not absolutely lose their mind is a different breed, in my opinion. That is a mental toughness. That, uh, I don't know. I have, I, have, I have no experience with it, so. I do know that when you're in the dark and you're just like alone with your thoughts, that you, your brain starts to try to create a reality. <laughs> so you probably hallucinate your own reality for a week. Or a few days. Would be my guess.
and potentially be able to restabilize when you come out. I don't know. I guess so. I feel like being in solitary reminds me of the the claustrophobia type feeling when you used to be like in a sleeping bag, a sleepover, and someone would, you would go down in, into it and then someone would sit on it and you couldn't get out and you were just confined in this hot, tiny space and your friends just like laughing while you're just freaking out. That shit used to make me flip, like go crazy when somebody would do that to you. It was such an uncool friend move to do to somebody, <laughs> but we as kids are fucking around, but if they did it for, you know, 10 seconds or so, but when somebody would do it for you and they would stay on for a while and you're like, it would just be like such torture. Just like I couldn't hack these two pieces of chicken, I am going to save them for a second dinner meal type thing because I'm full. I don't know why. Like I thought I was more hungry than I was, but either way, it was perfect. So delicious. So, so delicious. The, this double, this extra crispy is just a, a different, it's just different. And when the full sugar hits perfect, amazing. All right, well, random, just flow state, consciousness, whatever came to the mind. And uh, perhaps it was relaxing or whatever it is that you get from this, these videos. And uh, till the next one, you could live well. Stay true. If you like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe, as well as check out my pinned comment down below to find other ways to support this channel. Thank you for watching. Eat good, live well, and stay true.